Yo, uh, let's talk about cops. No, not the stop and frisk kind. We're talking high-tech sci-fi policing. Think Robocop, but less clunky metal and more algorithms. AI is changing the game, folks. It's like giving officers X-ray vision and super speed, but instead of capes, they get code. Now, before you freak out about robot overlords writing speeding tickets, chill. This is about making law enforcement smarter, faster, and fairer. Imagine catching criminals in real time, preventing crime before it happens, and making sure everyone gets a fair shake. Sounds good, right? But hold up, there's always a but. With great power comes great responsibility, and AI is one powerful tool. We gotta talk about the ethical side, the privacy concerns, and make sure this tech doesn't become a tool for discrimination. So buckle up, because we're diving headfirst into the future of law enforcement. Let's start with the controversial stuff. Facial recognition. Imagine a camera that can pick your face out of a crowd and instantly tell the cops who you are. Powerful stuff, right? It's like having a million witnesses at every street corner. This tech is already being used to catch criminals. Remember that guy who stormed the Capitol? Facial recognition helped put a name to his face, and it's not just criminals. This tech can help find missing children and identify people who can't identify themselves. But, and there's always a but, facial recognition has its critics. What about privacy? What about accuracy, especially with people of color? These are questions we need to answer before we let this tech run wild. Ever spent hours scrolling through security footage trying to find one specific moment? Yeah, me neither. But that's what police have to do all the time. Enter BriefCam, an AI tool that's like TiVo for crime fighting. BriefCam can analyze hours of video footage in minutes. It can identify suspects based on their clothes, their gait, even their emotional state. You need to find all the red cars that drove past a bank robbery in under five minutes. BriefCam's got you covered. This means faster investigations, more efficient use of resources, and more time for cops to focus on what matters, catching the bad guys and maybe grabbing a donut or two. Drones, they're not just for Amazon deliveries and annoying your neighbors anymore. Police are using drones for everything from search and rescue to crime scene investigation. Imagine a drone with thermal imaging flying over a forest searching for a lost hiker or a drone with a high resolution camera mapping out a car accident scene. This tech is a game changer, especially in situations that are too dangerous or difficult for humans. And get this, they're even using drones to deliver snacks to people trapped in hostage situations. Okay, maybe not snacks, but they have delivered phones for communication. Who knows, maybe pizza delivery by drone is next on the police tech wish list. Section five, body cameras get smart AI, sees what we miss. Body cameras are supposed to be the answer to police accountability, right? But what if they could do even more? What if they could help officers make better decisions in real time? That's where AI comes in. Imagine a body camera that can detect when someone is reaching for a weapon or when an officer's voice indicates stress. This tech can provide crucial information in high-pressure situations, helping to de-escalate conflicts and save lives. But again, with great power, you know the drill. We need to make sure this tech is used responsibly and ethically. We don't want AI turning cops into robots. We need human judgment, always. Section six, real-time crime centers predicting crime before it happens. Minority report, anyone? Okay, maybe not quite, but real-time crime centers are the closest we've got. These high-tech command centers use AI to analyze crime data, predict where crimes are likely to happen, and deploy resources accordingly. Think of it like a giant chessboard, but instead of pawns, we're talking about police officers. By analyzing crime patterns, social media activity, and even weather data, these centers can help prevent crime before it even happens. Of course, this raises all sorts of questions about profiling and bias. Who decides where the resources go? How do we make sure this tech doesn't target certain communities unfairly? These are crucial questions that need answers. Section seven, from streetlights to smart homes, the IOT and you. Remember that creepy scene in the matrix where the machines could see through cameras everywhere? Yeah, this isn't that far off. The Internet of Things, or IoT, is connecting everything from streetlights to doorbells to the Internet. And guess what? That data can be used by law enforcement. Imagine a city where sensors can detect gunshots and alert the police instantly. 
or traffic cameras that can identify stolen vehicles. The possibilities are endless and a little bit scary, let's be honest. Privacy advocates are understandably concerned about this level of surveillance. Where do we draw the line? How do we make sure this tech doesn't turn our cities into Orwellian nightmares? These are questions we need to answer and fast. Section 8. The verdict is out, AI, in policing the good, the bad and the ethical. So there you have it, folks. The future of law enforcement is here and it's powered by AI. From facial recognition to predictive policing, this tech has the potential to make our communities safer and our justice system fairer. But, and you knew there was going to be a but, we need to be careful. AI is a powerful tool, and like any tool, it can be used for good or for evil. We need to have serious conversations about privacy, bias and accountability. The future is here and it's up to us to decide what it looks like. Let's make sure it's a future where technology serves justice, not the other way around. Now, if you'll excuse me, I'm going to go invest in some tinfoil hats, just in case. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel, like this video and share it with your friends to stay updated on future content.